Hello, so what you're about to see is a tutorial using the Bellini. So for those of you who don't know what a Bellini is, um, it's kind of like a Thermomix. And for those of you who don't know what a Thermomix is, basically it's like an all-in-one um, cooker. So basically it uh, chops, it blends, it sautés, it steams, and basically does everything that a rice cooker could do, everything that um, normal kitchen appliances could do, like blenders. Um, it can cook what you'd cook on a stove top, that kind of thing. So it's, it's an all-in-one machine to basically make your life easier. I love it. I highly recommend getting one or looking into one if you're either time poor or you need to uh, be able to multitask while you're in the kitchen or if you just simply, um, like me, have difficulty um, using your hands. I have injuries to both my hands so I have trouble holding um, knives and I have trouble opening jars and things like that and so anything I can do to make my kitchen and cooking life a little bit easier um, this machine basically helps me with. So what I'm going to do is in this video and hopefully in future videos using this same intro I'm going to show you how to cook um, a particular kind of dish in the Bellini. So I will show you the machine and then we'll get straight into today's tutorial. So this is the Bellini and like I said it's like a thermal mix but it's it has many parts that come with it but I'm just going to show you the basics for today. So all you really need to know are the timer button which as you turn this it will adjust the time in the screen and the temperature button and so I, again, as you adjust this, it will adjust the temperature in the screen and then the speed button. So those are the only real um, um, buttons that you need to worry about on this machine. And obviously there's an on off button to make it function. And there is the pulse button for chopping, um, which we won't need for today's tutorial. So um, the pulse button basically just makes things, chops things into itsy bitsy like grated cheese you could do that or you could chop up um, and easily um, shred a bunch of carrots that kind of thing so that's what the pulls button does so in the machine itself we have the measuring cup and that is something that you keep in if you're doing something like steaming um, or cooking things and you want to keep the heat in then we have the lid and we have the bowl. So the bowl comes with two kinds of blades for the Bellini. It comes with these sharp blades and it also comes with blunt blades. I tend to keep the sharp blades in there because most things that I use um, that works well. And so what we're going to be showing today is a dish that you can make using this machine. And let's jump right into it. Alright, so if your machine doesn't measure for you, you can go ahead and get separate scales. So I need, whoops, I need half of this. I need 25 grams of oil. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of that. Alright, so I have my 25-ish grams of oil. And that's just some vegetable oil that I'm using. And now I'm going to go ahead and add 40 grams of... Butter. All right, so now I'm ready to add the mushrooms in. So in my bowl, I have my oil, my butter, and my 150 grams of bacon. So that's 25 grams of vegetable oil, 40 grams of butter, 150 grams of bacon, and now I'm just going to add 150 grams of mushrooms. So. It's shockingly difficult with one hand. Let's see. Nearly there. Almost there. And 150. Close enough. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to add that to my Bellini. All right. So we have our butter, oil, mushrooms, and bacon in the machine. So now we're going to go ahead and put it 
in the machine for five minutes on temperature 100 on speed one okay so just go ahead depending on what machine you have just go ahead and press the on button and once it's done you can check to see if it needs a little bit more time if the bacon doesn't look quite as cooked as you'd like it so I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing and then we'll be back with the next step all right so that literally just finished so what I'm gonna do is I've just taken off this cap um, so since we're sauteing it keeps the cap in um, so I'm gonna take a look and see what we're looking like so you'll see that some of it has adjusted and moved up to the top so I'm gonna just take my spatula and move it back down and so this is basically what you'll see in the bowl so I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a bit of a stir and see if I want to cook it a little bit more all right well it's looking pretty good actually so I think I'm satisfied with that so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add in the next ingredients which are cream salt and pepper so I'm just gonna grab those all right so I have my thickened cream so I'm gonna use about 300 milliliters of this so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in all right all right so then you just put in some salt and pepper to taste so I'm just gonna do a pinch of both and then I'm going to turn the machine on which I'll show you in just a second all right so I have my 300 milliliters of cream in there and I just added a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper and this time I'm going to leave the measuring cap off because before we were sauteing so we wanted to keep the steam in now we are just cooking and mixing and so we are going to turn the machine on for 20 minutes this time okay 20 minutes on speed one and again 100 degrees all right so i'm going to go ahead and press the button um, to turn that on and i'll be back in 20 minutes and in the meantime i'm going to boil some pasta on the stove and then we will mix together okay so i am currently just boiling some water for the pasta. So with this dish, you can use whatever pasta you want. It could be spaghetti, fettuccine, whatever else. Um, so we like the fettuccine, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Romano fettuccine and make about four to six servings worth um, in the pot because um, the creamy pasta does that, cater for many, many leftovers. So I will go ahead and boil this water and cook my pasta while my machine is cooking the rest and then I will show you the finished product. And so then I just popped my cooked pasta in the bowl and I am just going to swirl it around a little bit which I could do in the machine but um, I'm eager to show you guys um, the finished product. So the next thing you'll see is my plated dinner. So I'll show you that in just a couple seconds. So, I hope you enjoyed making creamy pasta with mushroom and bacon with me, and I hope that shows how easy the Bellini or equivalent machine that you have is to use. And the best part of this machine is once you're done using whatever it is that you're cooking in there, um, it essentially self-cleans. So what you can do is once you finish cooking whatever it is that you are cooking in this jug, you can put some soap in there and fill it about three quarters of the way with water. And then what you can do is you can turn this to two and a half minutes. So I'll just change that to two and a half minutes there. You can put it on speed one 
and on 90 degrees and that will boil the water in there with the soap and it will spin around and it will clean the jug so you can just um, turn it on, uh, pour out the dirty water and then voila, self-cleaning machine after you've cooked your dish. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you so much for watching and if there's a particular dish that you'd like to see made in the Bellini, please go ahead and comment it down below. Um, if you're looking for recipes, you can definitely type in pretty much anything that you enjoy making, like um, a dessert dish or a main meal or whatever else, and put in the word thermal mix in any search bar on Google, and you'll find endless recipes, and you can follow those same instructions using whichever machine that you have, be it the Bellini, be it the thermal mix. So, hopefully this was a helpful tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. That is everything for today, so if you like this video, please click like, please click subscribe, and I will do more videos of other things you can make with your machine, um, and hopefully make your life a little bit easier. Alright, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!